Hello, welcome. Take a moment and try this problem out. Press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so they basically want to know when does this graph 1 over x meet this graph, the absolute value of x minus 3. They want us to sketch it, and I'm fine with that, but they get nervous here because it says determine the nearest tenth the solution of these two things. They want us, I guess, somehow to have a sketch to the nearest tenth. It feels unrealistic. But anyway, let's let's try this out. So, okay, let's make some scale here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just start with threes. One, two, three. All right, so the absolute value of x, um, absolute value of zero is zero. One is one. Two is two. And over here, the absolute value of negative one is one. The absolute value of negative two is two, and so on and so forth. You get this kind of V shape. And our function up here, it's the second one here, a of x, it equals that absolute value that I just drew, but then all those outputs minus 3. Now you might know that for all functions, then we just translate it down 1, 2, and then 3. And it's not a perfect graph or a perfect scale, but that's the basic idea, right? You take it and slide it down. So I want to clean that up a little bit, because I want my sketch to be somewhat accurate. And here's what I mean. I'm going to plug in specific inputs and outputs so it looks good on the scale. So if I plug in 0, the absolute value of 0 is 0 minus 3. That's down here like I just said. If you plug in 1, 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So 1, it should be here, negative 2. And likewise over here. All right, neg the absolute value of negative 1 is 1. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. We'll do a couple more. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So it's here. And then negative 2 becomes 2. And then let's go one more. 3 minus 3 is 0. That's our 0 point right there. All right, I feel happy with the sketch. You would use a ruler, of course. And then what I would do is label it. So this is a of x. The other function, uh, this rational function you might recognize, is 1 divided by x. So r of x equals 1 divided by x. So if I plug in, let's say, 0, that's undefined. So I'm going to, you can't divide by 0. I'm going to put an asymptote there for r of x. It's something we approach but don't exactly reach. If I plug in 1, 1 divided by 1 is 1. If I plug in 2, 1 divided by 2 is 1 half. If I plug in 3, 1 divided by 3 is 1 third. And uh, I divide more and more and more. It's going to approach but never reach quite 0. In the other direction, say I plug in a half, right? 1 divided by a half is 2. It's up here. If I plug in a fourth, 1 divided by a fourth is 4. And uh, 1 divided by a fifth is 5, and it actually kind of climbs up this way here. Now, over here in the negatives, if I plug in negative 1, 1 divided by negative 1 is negative 1. 1 divided by negative 2 is negative 1 half, negative 1 third, if I plug in 3, negative 3, and so on and so forth. So you can see it's kind of approaching 0, but from below 0. On the other hand, as I approach the y axis, let's say negative 1 half, I get negative 2. And then negative 3 for, let's say, a third, negative uh, 4 for a fourth. It's approaching negative infinity in that direction. All right, so we get that. That's our shape. And you can see that we have them crossing over here. And so we, they want us to find that crossing point. So let's just go to the calculator and do that. So here, all right, we do 1 divided by, not 3, Sean, x. And then we want to get some absolute value in there. So I'm going to go to math, and then under number, you'll see the absolute value function. That's the value of x, and then minus 3. And when we go to the graph, let's see if we see them. Now I have some weird settings. This is good for you to see when it's all messed up. So I press zoom and 6. It's a standard kind of zoom. And there you can see they're crossing. So I go second trace, choice 5. OK, I'm on the first curve, yes. Yeah, Yes, that's the second. And to approximate. And there it is. They want to the nearest uh, tenth, so about 3.3. .3. All right, hope that helps.